I am going to try to vacuum seal a few items in this bag. This bag came from the supermarket. It was a bag that had uh, macaroni noodles in it. And I chose this bag uh, out of my collection of used bags <coughs> because of its thickness. Uh, hopefully it doesn't have any air holes in it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to uh, vacuum seal this bag using two two little sections of uh, swizzle stick that I broke I cut off the ends <coughs> and uh, this will serve as an air channel being that these, this bag is not particularly suited for this uh, machine uh, it doesn't have the air grooves in it that a normal uh, vacuum sealer bag does but I've done this before and it works so here it goes. You just simply put two one inch long pieces of swivels, swizzle stick. And these, these swizzle sticks, you know, you've seen them. They're the ones that are in the coffee shops when you go to make your coffee to, you know, the Turkey Hills and the various other convenience stores. You just grab yourself a handful of them and when you need one, you just, uh, if these are the flat kind, it looks kind of like a double barrel shotgun at the end. And uh, the flatter the better for this particular operation. So you, what, what I did was I just <coughs> laid two of them in the groove that goes in the machine here and flatten it out as much as you can and close the lid and theoretically it should work it has worked for me in the past so I'll give it a shot here Sometimes it takes two two tries, and as, lo as long as the as long as the <coughs> the straw piece of straw swizzle stick doesn't come in contact with the uh, heating element, it should work. I will give this another shot. As you can see, the two pieces of swiz swizzle stick are in their place. They're just forming an, an air channel so that the machine can, and this is the vacuum chamber, so uh, they're, they're in the proper position, close the door and try it again. <coughs> and this, this is the vacuum, uh, see that, it's the, this is the indicator that shows that the bag has been evacuated. Somehow it's not working. For some reason it's not working. Okay, now I've, I've got it positioned so it should work. So here it goes. I wouldn't be doing this only I don't I want to try I wanted to try it see if I could do it and, and videotape it and uh, being that I'm out of bags plus 
else, I'm, I have an adventurous spirit, so. There, it's working now. As you can see, it's sucking up that air. And as, as you can see, that the, va the vacuum indicator is going over, all the way over. And as soon as, as soon as that yellow disappears, and it looks like it's going to disappear right, right. At this point, it's just hanging, hanging, hanging. Come on, let's go, let's go. I hope this bag doesn't have a hole in it. We'll give it a try. So I'm going to push the seal. I've got the seal, the indicator's on. The indicator's on five. I'm going to put it on four. I'm going to push the seal button. As long as the bag doesn't get punctured, it should it should stay uh, vacuum sealed indefinitely. So it's possible. It is. I've been told that it's it would be a waste of my time, but <clears throat> uh, it is my nature not to listen to people because a lot of times they just don't know what they're talking about. So here it is. Uh, I used an ordinary. Normally what would be thrown out, I recycled this bag, put it to good use, and I vacuum sealed my particular uh, item that I wanted to preserve. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this little video, and hope you have a good day. By the way, if you don't have one of these machines, you ought to get one. Very, very helpful addition to any uh anybody's uh kitchen appliance collection so anyway thanks for watching have a good day